Hello everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel where we try to make learning fun and easy. So today we have a fascinating topic to explore that is bullet penetration through blocks. Do you know how much a bullet's velocity decreases after passing through a series of blocks? Well, if you don't, then by the end of this video you will know exactly how to calculate that. So, let's begin. Before we get into the topic, let's quickly refresh our understanding of some fundamental concepts of physics. When an object moves through a medium like a bullet passing through blocks, it experiences resistance and gradually loses its velocity. This phenomena can be understood by the principle of conservation of energy. which states that energy is neither created nor destroyed but it can only be transferred or transformed so imagine we have a bullet moving at a certain initial velocity u and when it passes through a block it loses 1 by nth of its initial velocity so we need to find out the number of blocks required to stop the bullet as we know initial velocity of block is u and for a single block it loses 1 by nth of its initial velocity so uh, we can write final velocity of bullet after passing through a single block as v equals to u minus 1 by nth of u or v equals to u minus u by n after taking lcm we can write it as u into n minus 1 by n as you can see on the screen now using third equation of motion we want to calculate velocity initial velocity and we have already calculated the final velocity of the block so let's calculate initial velocity in terms of width of block and lowest velocity after passing through this block so we want to substitute the final velocity v as we have already calculated that it as u n minus 1 by n so after substituting we get this result and we can write it as u square into n minus 1 by n whole square equals to u square minus 2 al now let's simplify this to get u square now let's write it as 2 al equals to u square minus u square into n minus 1 by n whole square taking u square common we can write 2 al equals to u square into 1 minus n minus 1 square by n now using identity of a minus b whole square for n minus 1 whole square we get 2 al equals to u square into 2n minus 1 by n square as n square gets cancelled out now we can write u square equals to 2al into n square by 2n minus 1 as we have calculated initial velocity and we know that n blocks are required so that the final velocity of a uh, bullet becomes zero so we have to calculate the number of blocks required which is here denoted by capital n so we have already calculated initial velocity and final velocity now the distance traveled by the block will be n times of l n is here number of blocks so let's calculate it using third equation of motion we can again uh, substitute the value of uh, v and u now we know that final velocity of block becomes zero after passing through n number of blocks and the width of one block is l so n number of block have a width of n times of l and the distance traveled by block will be equals to n into l now let's substitute values of v u and x in third equation of motion v is 0 so v square will be 0 equals to u square plus 2 times as bullet is retarding so this will be minus a times distance traveled by block which is x hence we can write it as u square equal to 2a into x substitute the value of x n times l now as we have already calculated the value of u square uh, we have to just substitute it 
and we get 2al n square divided by 2n minus 1 equals to 2a times nl. Now after simplifying this we get n capital N number of flanks required equals to n square by 2n minus 1 where small n is fraction of velocity lost by bullet after passing through one block. So I hope this topic is clear to you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. And if you have any question or want us to cover any specific topics, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, stay curious and keep expanding your knowledge.